Yesterday ends in a three-bar bear breakout, bars 67 to 69, after a tight trading range day, minor pullback, and likely start of a channel. However, yesterday was also a tight trading range day, and the bear sell-off into the close was a test of the open, the daily chart closed as a perfect doji. Today on the 30-minute chart, the market has been in a broad bear channel for the past three days. A bear channel after a bull breakout is usually a bear flag. The higher time frame context going into today's price action is long, especially with the gap up above the bear channel. Today's context for the open, today opens as a gap up above a bear channel. It's reasonable to look for a high too long from the open depending on how the early bars form. The first thing I ask during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today features a moderate gap up just above the high of yesterday. The main clue that the early price action of the day will be a trading range is that the first two bars of the day are opposing closes with a range comparable to each other. Context was good on the higher time frame for going long above a high two that was a good signal bar. I took this trade in the live market. I have mentioned before that if the market does not reach 1x your risk and produces a perfect doji, you should exit your position because bulls will give up afterward, which they did on bar 12. This is especially true if bears have demonstrated strength, like they did with the tail on bar 9. When bulls cannot rally the market but bears cannot break through, bulls bought bar 13 when it sold off the market is likely to go sideways in a tight range. The market up to bar 50 was in a 10-point range, but I had shut down my trading software after bar 40. Markets have inertia, so a tight trading range lasting half the day is likely to continue. The bears did create a sell-off later in the day, but it was not worth watching the market until the last hour just to catch the move. Today ends in a bear sell-off that is an approximate measured move down from the high of today to the close of yesterday. Bears took profits at that measured move down. On the higher time frame, the bulls have broken the bear trend line and then tested the low of yesterday. The bulls will try to create a major trend reversal here, while the bears will try to keep the market within the broad bear channel for further downside.